A car of mass 500 kg is at rest at point X on the slope as shown. Car brake release and it starts to roll down. With the engine switch off. Wow, why you want to roll down the hill with engine switch off? That's a bit dangerous. At point Y, the car has moved through a vertical height 30 meters. Speed of 11. What is the energy dissipated? By frictional forces when the car moves from X to Y. Well, I think this looks like an energy question because the answers are all in joules. So I'm going to start off by looking at the energy change. You start off pretty high up. So your GPE is high. As you move lower and lower, that's a lower GPE. Where did all this energy go? Maybe I start with that. It's a G change in GPE. And it's a loss or decrease in GPE as you go lower and lower. This is why we must think of energy conversion. Okay, so convert to one hint. You see the KE here. KE is non-existent, not moving. At the end, you are moving. So now there's KE. So ew, we can say there's a change in kinetic energy. And that's an increase. So now the, the object has more kinetic energy. Okay, what else do we have to add? They want energy dissipated by frictional forces. We can call this thermal energy or whatever, but the road is actually not smooth. Perhaps inside the engine also, there's some frictional forces. It gets hot, the engine gets hot, all kinds of energy loss. Ah. Oftentimes in physics, we will write it this way, work done against friction or thermal energy or whatever other energy that is lost. There be there's many types now. So we just say I work done by friction. Or work done against friction. So now we plug in all the values we know. So we have change in GPE. So uh, this will be mg times delta h. So there will be m g delta h. Change in ke. We have half mv squared. I have just half mv squared minus zero. Because you start off at rest and the WF, which we are trying to find. <clears throat> Plug in the values, we have 500, 9.81, 30 meters, equals to half, 500, and the velocity at the end is 11 meters per second, plus whatever energy we have lost, which we are trying to find. Oh, this should be in orange. Okay. And we press calculator, we should get a work done against friction of 1.169 times 10 to the 5. Joe. Let me double check my calculator. Yes, 1.169. So the best and closest round off to 2SF will be 1.2 times 10 to the 5 joules. So then that will be 1.2B, this one. The most important thing about energy change is you must know how to set up the conservation of energy. Energy cannot be lost. So if there's a decrease in one type of energy, means there must be an increase in another type of energy. So here, GPE, KE, and friction. Right, so that's how we can do questions like this for energy conservation.